did you know that you had bed bugs? Um, when Joy started itching all over. Well, I first um, knew I had bed bugs because one morning I woke up and I had a whole bunch of like bumps running down my thigh, behind my thigh. And um, I didn't go outside or anything that day to get mosquito bites. And then I went outside that day. I had some shorts. I went to the soccer game. And I came back and I slept again. And I woke up and I had more bumps on my thighs. So that's how I knew it. And plus, since Jen was like, if you get bites, like little, little bites, then it's their bugs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I knew. And I told Adriana. Yeah, and then um, I started getting it. And I started waking up with bumps. Uh, how prepared was Guilford to fight the bed bug problem? Um, it actually started last spring, and it, I, no, I didn't even know bed bugs existed. I'm not even kidding. Like, so we were not prepared in any way, shape, or form. Um, it was 75% of my di my week every week last spring. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot really fast. <laughs> um, what did you have to do in order to get your problem solved? Holy crap. <laughs> well, okay, that's what made me so mad. Yeah. See, what ha happened was... <laughs> no, what happened? What happened was... <laughs> Um, I went to Brian, and Brian sent in a work order to change my mattress. Um, they didn't change my mattress. Well, I mean, yes, they did. They came back. Well, they, <laughs> hold on. They didn't change my mattress until, like, two weeks later. Yeah, they came um, and changed it. Though. I went to help the help center, mm -hmm. and she was like, well, she didn't see anything, so she Yeah, she say, said that where she had her uh, bumps, that's not where bed bugs. Like. Yeah, and she gave me attitude pretty much to the nurse here. Gilbert, I don't care. <laughs> um, then um, we, I went to the student center, community center, and I put in another work order. And then two weeks later, they came in and changed my mattress. But after that, I got more bites than I had before with the new mattress that I had. So then um, I talked to Jen, and she was like, she's going to come here with a dog or Yeah, whatever. they came in with a dog and... And that was like three, four weeks later, like a month, total month, yeah, before we got anything settled. Yeah, the dog came, and they just started, like, smelling it. And I don't know what the dog's supposed to do, but he went like that on my bed, and then they said, okay, and then they moved over to another bed. So I guess that was the signal that there was bed bugs. How's Guilford finding the problem, or what's the plan of action? Um... You know, our first instinct last year was, oh my god, we have to treat everything. Mm -hmm. And then we stepped back a little bit and started to look at the problem and realized that we could start, we could treat the whole campus and then one person could come from an apartment somewhere and we have the same problem again. So money-wise, I mean, we're talking like $150,000 and 60 days to treat Milner the way we, tr we are treating. So it's just kind of logistically impossible. Mm -hmm. um, but... <clears throat> We are treating as we become aware of any problems. So if students come to us with issues, um, we usually send them to the health center just to kind of check out if they have rashes or whatever. And if it looks like something, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, then we, um, we'll bring the bug dog in and check, and if it comes up positive, we'll treat. So um, basically the plan is we are being reactive, I guess, more so than proactive. We're being proactive with education and trying to teach people how they spread and how they live and how to find them and that sort of thing. But I think that's really the best that anybody can do at this point. How did having bed bugs affect your college experience? I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. Who wants bed bugs the first year of school? And then they give you attitude. Because you, you say you have bed bugs, and they say, no, it's a myth, so stop passing rumors. Who does that? Well, they kind of wanted to be careful about it because they said uh, it's a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, to even bring the dog in to try to see if we have bed bugs. And then let alone when they um, start doing the yeah. heat, what is it, heat processing? Yeah, the heat processing. The room or something, I don't know. Yeah, but it was terrible. I hated it. Yeah, and then when they did tell us that um, our room did have bed bugs. They came in and they gave us uh, some papers and a, a CD, CD and we had a look at the CD and it told us on um, how to prepare the room. Yeah. And we had to sign the paper and it told us, like they gave us bins and then we had to put some stuff in each bin or whatever. And the workers were pretty cool. Yeah. They're nice. I like them. And then they told us that our computers and even our
and our cell phones could have bed bugs. Yeah, so we had to leave it in our room. Well, how are the complaints made, and how long does it take usually to get the problem solved? It depends. We work with a contracted pest control company, mm -hmm. um, and they are dealing with a lot of other area schools at the moment, um, that people may have seen in the news. Um, so when students come to us, we try to react as quickly as we can, um, but it depends on the availability of the bug dog um, and how quickly he can get in, and then if we determine a problem, usually we treat within one or two days. Um, it's not always that quick. The last one we did, we found like on a Friday and we just treated it this Wednesday. So um, sometimes it's a few days wait, but we've never, I don't think, gone more than a week. Um, are you satisfied with the amount of time it took to fix the problem? <coughs> you already know my answer. I, I say no. I'm not satisfied with the time. It took like a whole month later and I had to um, actually be on top of like telling them, telling them yeah. to keep on coming. And they didn't do nothing like a month later. So I was really upset about that. And then they gave me attitude, like I said. So, and then she, the nurse. Well, then they said that, um. The company that they work with, like, is really busy, mm -hmm. but they have, like, a contract, so the company tries to put us in. So maybe it was that they were busy or something. No, but, like, to me, when I was dealing with them, to me, it was like, they didn't believe me, so they really wasn't giving it a big of a deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, I didn't like that. Sometimes they even thought I was stupid because they didn't think I knew their language, so... It was kind of frustrating, but I mean, at least they got the job done, I think. Yeah. yeah. So the problem is fixed now? Yeah. Do you believe Gopher is doing the best they can against pest control? I honestly do. I really do. Um, it's, I, I've done more research and learned more about mm -hmm. this problem than I ever wanted to, ever. Um, but it's something like, I don't want to compare it to flies or mosquitoes, but that's basically what we're looking at at this mm -hmm. point. Um, until somebody comes up with some sort of DDT again. Basically, that's why they started coming out again, is because we stopped using things like mm -hmm. that. And it's just going to be a matter of somebody coming up with something like that that will eradicate them. But until then, I mean, if you can't really see them and you don't really know you have them and people are in and out of your room or your house or your hotel or whatever, it's going to be a problem that's around. I'm just happy they're gone.